There's some uh, illuminating information going about uh, here at the uh, Cirrus M5 migration. It has something to do with the fact that, well, you guys are just not feeling the need for speed anymore. You're feeling the need to light things up. What's I'm going on? I'm always going to feel the need for speed, but we're always looking for new markets. Mm -hmm. And uh, lighting's been a good niche for us. Mm -hmm. And it's been a niche that's been overlooked for, for quite a while. And we were the first people to bring HID AV, uh, lighting to general aviation about eight years ago. And we're approved on about 240 different models. Mm -hmm. We're the OEM supplier to Cirrus for their stock landing light. And we've put that same landing light in the wingtips under a new modification now. So a, a pilot can have three uh, HID lights on a Cirrus. What's the advantage to HID? Tell me about that. Well, it puts out a lot of light for a very low current draw, and, and they have extremely long lives. So we warranty the landing lights for five years or 5,000 hours. So it's, in a lot of cases, it's uh, essentially a lifetime lamp. It'll uh, live through two complete engines. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Where did this technology come from? As I understand it, it's uh, been used in a number of industries before it came to aviation. Yeah, well, um, it was really developed as a way to provide light for um, high-end automobiles. As, as people age, their uh, need for light at night goes way up. As an example, a 60-year-old needs four times the light a 20-year-old needs. And usually the people that were buying high-end cars were people who were in their late 50s, early 60s, and uh, uh, they were originally developed for the uh, Porsches and the Mercedes and the Beamers. It's, it, it's that same technology. Now you're doing lighting for some very complex aircraft besides the Cirrus. You're in the jet industry and making pretty significant inroads with some of the biggest players in the business. Yeah, yeah we're also the OEM supplier to Hawker Beechcraft on, on the Hawker line. Uh, we're approved on the Beach Jet, and, and we're about to complete the Lear Jet and the Citations. So the uh, jet field's been very good to us. And you say you've got over 200 uh, STCs at this point? Uh, about 240 now. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. One of the other uh, aspects that I didn't mention was it really increases the conspicuity of the airplane. We're on all the University of North Dakota's training fleet, Embry-Riddle's training fleet, and Flight Safety's training fleet uh, for safety reasons, because it's uh, um, a light, an airplane that's equipped with an HID light can be seen from a much greater distance and through a much greater arc. So uh, our standard procedure is when you start the engine, turn the landing lights on, and leave them on. Yeah, uh, one of the things that we were able to accomplish for uh, Hawker Beechcraft was there were a lot of warranty claims. It's got a 450 watt landing light behind a Lexan lens mm -hmm. that's bonded to the wing because they have a weeping wing anti-ice system right. and they don't want that fluid getting on the lamp so that cavity the lights mounted in is sealed. So to change the light bulb you've got to break that seal oh, no. and if they leave the light on for like 20 seconds without the airplane moving it melts a $4,000 lens. And with our installation, they can be left on continually and there's no damage. Because uh, 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 we have less than one-tenth the heat that a 450-watt incandescent has and a much greater light. So it, it was really a no-brainer for them. Thanks so much, Kurt. Yeah. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Jim.